I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in a break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, dude? Edward. How you look feeling? At, look at this. Fuck off. <laughs> <You're> fucking, <laughs> fuck. Look at that, fuck you. Let's go. Fucking Mets. Go back to San Diego with your Mets shit. <laughs> and they're shit. coming too, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. They're no. Coming. Well, they're going to beat LA tonight. I feel it. Oh, they play they're tonight. Gonna, yeah, they play tonight. They're going to beat LA tonight. So by the time you hear this, it's already... It's already done. Yeah, it's already done. Well, you know what? So what? <laughs> <laughs> we're, having fun. we're enjoying ourselves. I'm yeah, yeah. Enjoying myself. I'm just trying to get the focus off of the Philly, fucking Phillies. <laughs> God damn. Our guest today is a, per Ed McGowan, a wild man. <laughs> I did say comedian. that. I go, this dude's a wild man. I looked at his stuff. <laughs> he is a wild man. And we have him here today, the one and only Stephen Bull. Stephen, what is your wildest day job? Uh, I'm glad you asked. I started doing OnlyFans. No. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got, I got the shirt and everything. Uh, it's not an OnlyFans shirt, but it says send nudes, like the cup of noodles, you know? Uh, I like that. I like but that. I'm like, this is very on brand for me. But so I... OnlyFans as a as a comedian or OnlyFans is like your shit? Uh, no, hog. I'm trying to make fucking money. So no, I'm not there as a comedian, you know? Everyone's like, oh, you post your stand-up. I'm like, my stand-up hasn't made money in 10 years, so I think we're going to try something different. Um, Dude. And it's fairly new for me. I, I really started taking it serious in June, and I'm a college dropout. I've worked <laughs> every 10, 1099 job under the sun, you know, and this is just the last 1099 job I had to try. You know? Wait, you're taking it seriously? You're like, yeah, you're actually, really, you I got to make- buckle down on this OnlyFans. I got to really... Okay, all right. I got to... Okay, this is great because it kind of hits on everything that I have done in podcasting because mm-hmm. we're talking about sex work now oh yeah, and yeah. we're talking about working class shit so i'm like <laughs> yeah. in heaven right now <laughs> oh and i've done both i've every job i've ever had it's like cool to smoke cigarettes on break that's <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's how you know you're working class and everyone's like smoke break in the whole office is like except for two people or right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly dude a lot of I've, I've worked with a lot of trucks you know that's that's a lot of my past you're probably history. born with nicotine in your fingernails <laughs> yeah. you got a little infant you're like what? Hey, what's your kid smell like marlboro lights yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't get the stains right there <laughs> you can stains on his little finger <laughs> oh, my baby clothes smell like menthol. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So with OnlyFans as a male content creator, here's – let me just give people an uh, overview of the last like 20 years in porn because I did the show Broken Tail Dog and I had okay. so many sex workers on and they were all porn stars. And being a porn star was like the thing to be. Like mm-hmm. when you're talking like late 90s, early aughts, you're talking big production stuff, Vivid mm-hmm. Video, oh, right. Spice Channel, yeah. you're talking mm-hmm. Jenna Jameson, uh, Tara Patrick. You were like – Victoria's Secret supermodels in the porn industry. Mm-hmm. And then everyone was repped by this guy, uh, Mark Spiegler. That was, that meant you were like the new it girl, right? Mm-hmm. Men made no money. Mm-hmm. There were like Peter North, a couple other guys that you would okay. always see, Randy uh-huh. West, who's okay. now mm-hmm. dead. You would see all these like, like four or five dudes working in the industry, but mostly you didn't make any money being a dude. Now you have guys like Flesh Mechanic, who have built up a following? <laughs> Wait, I do my that, homework. Is that your? What I don't. Oh, what well, is your okay. Name? Hold on a second. Oh, oh, yeah, flush mechanic. You got a flush mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> if you walked in and he was flush mechanic, I would have taken a selfie with him immediately. <laughs> flush mechanic. I wish I thought of that name first. That's pretty. He's great. Un- he's unreal. Although my my name on OnlyFans is Girth Brooks. <laughs> Girth, obviously. Brooks. And to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. I found out that there actually is a legit gay porn star named Girth Brooks. Uh-huh. But I looked him up and like I haven't found anything recent from him in years. So you you, so take, you could take it. I'm like I'm treating the name like Dread Pirate Roberts, yeah. you know, like, well, like from uh, Princess you know, Diary or whatever. There's like five Nature Boys. Yes. But we only know Ric Flair. Yes, so exactly. Like, oh, yeah, you yeah, take yeah. it and you run with it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and it's like yeah, we. It's like, I feel like we both bring something to the name. His dick definitely way bigger than mine, but you know, I got the long hair, you know, and he got a decent dick on me, so you know, it's the same thing. You well, know? that's okay. So that's what I was gonna get to. Now because. Women are so much more empowered. Our main mainstream media makes you feel more empowered as mm-hmm. a female to to like sex. And now there are so many designations out mm-hmm. there to say what you're into. And you could be a like being a size queen mm-hmm. is a thing now. So if you're a dude with a piece on you, mm-hmm. you could literally sell pictures of your dick. And honestly, there are so many couples now like cuck couples and mm. hot wife yes. who are like we need a guy with a big dick to just show up yes you don't have to show your face 
Oh, are you doing uh, with couples and stuff? I have, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, wow. you content dude. creators yeah. now, yeah. and men can make money. Yes, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. Dude. So here's here's the funny thing with it is I always say that uh, on my on my page so far I have a sex tape with a woman and I have a sex tape with a man. And guess which one sold nothing? The one with the woman. Yeah. Because I have 580 fans and it's overwhelmingly gay guys. Yeah. Um, uh, well, what do you do that attracts them? Like, what is your mark well, my, branding? So my page is free. That gets a lot of people. Of course, because you you do the old subscribe for free but then you message everybody mm -hmm. and you gotta buy the video yes right yeah, yeah. you give I them a post, teaser then you go buy it yes I post usually at least like one free and one paid thing like per day if I can when yeah. I'm really on the ball yeah but it, like one post a day is generally the standard so it's either paid or it's free but yeah that the free page gets people in the door they'll pay for uh, the PPVs pay yep. per views yep. and then people will message you know yep. to do um, a specialty thing yes or... yeah I got a lot of dudes that just want me to brush my hair I've sent them videos of just <laughs> me brush my hair this I is, love that this is what yeah, I'm saying, yeah, though. It's yeah. like, Dude, because amazing. men are so horny, Ed, yes. we have found a million ways to jerk off the stuff. And now that you have a format where it's acceptable, mm -hmm. you don't have to go on the dark web to find it. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. As long as it's legal mm -hmm. yes. yeah, and yeah. someone's willing to do it for you and yes. it's consensual, you could charge for it. Yes. So brushing your hair, mm -hmm. it's, uh, women's feet are insane. Mm -hmm. Getting, mm -hmm. Seeing someone lick your armpits is a fetish. I mean, it is. Yes, yeah, wow. yeah. Arm, arm, Worship's a fetish. Are, armpits a big one. The other one that actually surprised me that I think is so funny was I've had so many requests for condom videos where they want me to just jack off into a condom yeah, or yeah. fuck someone with a condom. I'm like, y'all are so responsible. <laughs> you know? I love that. Even your, even your fetish is responsible. So you have 584 <laughs> friends. Mm -hmm. Mostly men. Yeah, pretty and much. And they're asking for a lot of like jerk off videos? Mostly, yes. So okay. like actually what's interesting so your, your about your penis it, must be uh photogenic enough yes. to where it's attracting people to it's very to pretty. Okay. All yes. Right. Can I, I say it's it's six inches length, six inches girth, I call him even Stevens. You know? <laughs> so it's very it's got that Dickonacci sequence, you know? It's it's, it's all about the gimmick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, even Steven. Yeah. <laughs> I love so, it. Can I ask a question? Is sure. this kind of like how I'm dealing with like comedy reels where I'm like, oh, I gotta cut another yeah, yeah. No, reel. it is a full time job. Dude, like I, but I mean, he yeah. sees money from it, so it makes him want to edit more. <laughs> That's what you I'm saying. You see five likes on it, you're like Fuck, it's been fucking five days. I've killed myself. I've punched my own the walls. Dude, that's what I'm saying. It's it's so much easier to shoot porn than stand up. Oh like, and now you need production value. If you have like a ring light mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. and you're doing landscape yeah. and you put the fucking tripod over, mm -hmm. it's a wrap, dude. Yeah. You should go find yourself a a, a male and a female Co like content create partner. Yeah, yeah. I I've I made content with a cut couple uh, in the past, and they were cool. The only reason we don't do it is because uh, they're like long distance, so she lives mad yeah. far away. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we just don't we see each other whenever she's in town. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's like you know what is funny. I have reached out to women before, just like because uh, there's a, a a Reddit. Reddit is where Reddit is my fucking like yeah. stomping grounds. That's yeah. where I promote myself. That's where it's easy to find people and you know put my content out. Yeah, I've been jerking and, off to Reddit. I love Reddit. Reddit has porn. so many clips. Really? Reddit has great And if porn. you're following the right porn mm -hmm. uh, nomenclatures or whatever yes. groups, yes. it automatically fills your feed with stuff that you like. Yes. So you just click on it, and I'm watching like minute porns just in succession mm -hmm. oh, of yeah. all the stuff I like. You, you nah. know what the funniest shit about it is? Um, I actually have I'm a old school. Oh, yeah, I you like get a, the VHS I, out? Yeah, I get like a <laughs> DVD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the DVD. A DVD. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I used DVD. to buy the DVDs of all like the <laughs> janky, like fucking on the like cut on the floor clips. They would just oh, put yeah. out. The it would be twenty bucks for four hours of terrible <laughs> scenes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy named Rodney Moore, and he I don't yeah. know what he did to his yeah, dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember Rodney. He had a mullet, and he yeah, was like yeah. the grossest dude. Oh, dude, it was so gross. And he was always fucking like some one-off crackhead chick from the street. And it looked like the <laughs> shittiest motel. <laughs> what? Mm. It was such a scumbag. Like, it was like Skid in, Row. He was just picking chicks and up like, off Skid Row. And like even in like the late '90s, it still looked like a fucking uh, early '80s <laughs> camera. He always looked like he was in the 80s. Even in the early aughts when he was still making scenes, you're like, oh man, this is, I didn't know this old shit was on here. Is this archive, is this archive retro? Did I click on retro? Oh my God. So when you brush your hair... <laughs> Wait, hold on. The audience ain't even seen it yet. They ain't even seen it yet. Dude, you know? Oh my god! It's really long. I've been wanting. I keep wanting to cut it, and then my boys beg me to keep it. So I'm a hey, slave you know, to public do a opinion. Where you have no. your hair down like that from the back, and Ed wants to. Me and Ed are just trying to fuck you. Yeah, like, yeah. Which guy's gonna hit on I've you? Gotten, I've gotten. Cat, I've gotten 
cat call with my hair down. No, <laughs> Your for hair sure. is beautiful. For sure. It's, oh, I knew I was going to be on camera today. I brushed. So. He, brushed was, he brushed. He a, conditioned. I was got a Sassoon. Yeah, yeah. Here at 10 treatment. <laughs> <laughs> so making OnlyFans is not as dangerous as porn used to be publicly, right. but... Obviously, you are committed to the gig life at this yes. point. Yeah, You're yeah. not looking to get into anything where that would hinder you. No. Nah. So have you found at oh, all? Like a corporate job. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You're not worried about like. Yeah, I'm not going to lose my insurance if someone. But finds have you found out that it affects who books you on stand up gigs? Not really. No. Um, it's also still fairly new. Um, so I don't think it's affected that at all. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's the only. It, it really hasn't changed much. Like I've I've been saying that the funny thing is I thought people were going to be judgmental about me being on OnlyFans and everybody has been so cool about it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not a woman. You know, like yeah, if right, I was yeah, if yeah, I was yeah. a woman doing OnlyFans, you get judged you know yeah, right, right, but that's right. why you make so much money exactly yeah, yeah. you can't make any is, money without pissing a group off yeah this you is can't make any money this the interesting thing to me is that like i started in june and then by august it had covered my rent and so the thing that annoys me is that like i'm so jealous i've stopped talking to my female creator friends i'm so jealous of how much money they make because if you think of the only fans buyers as a pie chart right it's overwhelmingly men and only about like five to ten percent of men are going to buy male content yep so i can only sell oh yeah to this very small piece of the pie and i'm like dude if i could sell to the whole pie i'd be a fucking well, millionaire your only hope is now. to connect yeah. with a female creator that has a huge following mm -hmm. and, yeah, that, yeah. and then they don't or really a male creator with a are, huge are, following. yeah and yeah. they don't really pick you the women especially unless you also have that yeah it's yeah. really hard there is no collab like no, no. It's, yeah. it's it's very similar to how stand-up is yeah. you know how like we're losing spots now to people with like Followers. Fifty thousand and above followers. Yes. they don't care if, the, if if it's funny. Yeah, they dude, care about if they can sell five tickets I, off I've, your name. I've been saying the funny thing with OnlyFans is it's very similar to stand up in that every other person around us has this attitude. It's like, well, yeah, I kind of wanted to try that. Actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, everyone, everyone yeah. thinks they can do. Everyone <laughs> thinks they can do what we do, you know, because they've made uh, someone laugh. Yeah, that's are they jer are they, they jerk off all day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they think they've made someone come, so you know they they think, oh, maybe I could do OnlyFans, you know. Maybe I could do stand up. Why not, dude? You could. I just love no. the self aspect of it now, where you could set up. You know, if you had a, if you invested a thousand dollars into your setup, that's it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. could have a full little mobile studio where you could shoot any kind of porn you want with any kind of angles you need, mm -hmm. and with very serviceable editing skills, it's out the door. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, no, it's easy. It's all from the comfort of my bedroom. No, you, it's uh, easy. I, mean, I don't think, but here's the thing. I think porn has always been kind of easy to shoot. But I'm talking about the tech side of it now so much better, I where mean, you can shoot, like, because I prefer seeing aspects of amateur I don't mm -hmm. like when it's too produced. I think right, what right. I think is what I think is easy now is the distribution. Yes. Yeah. Now, yeah. I think I would say that the tech, tech wise, I the think the tech is probably like this. It's always been. It's been easy for a little but, while. But I'm saying for like a like Joe TV, Blow to, but like to, to be able to, to edit. get it out there and get paid for yes. it. Yeah. Oh no, that's yeah. another it's level. Huge. It's another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But filming it, even even ten years ago. Filming it would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now that everything's digital, now that phones, phones have the capabilities yeah, yeah, yeah. that they do, well, you I can mean, do it all from the here. phone. I know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. yeah. using all phones. It's, yeah, un yeah. it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I, I think the hardest part about it, though, is if you're also trying to do something else with it. Mm -hmm. all right, well, have you thought about just solely focusing on OnlyFans and using that to... to that's that's to the build dream. your fan base for stand up. Well, yeah, that's the dream. Is that so? The the number to me that was important was I covered my rent when I had around four hundred fans. And so the trick with having a free page is that uh, about ten to fifteen percent of them buy stuff. And that was true whether I had a hundred fans or five hundred right now. So I figure four hundred fans that covered my rent. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred should double it, and so on and so forth. Sure. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's more just about trying to get as many people through the door as possible to find these kind souls that pay for porn you don't have to you yeah. know yeah, yeah it's yeah, really yeah, just yeah. about it's and it's oddly recession -proof. well it's oddly recession proof because people <laughs> that pay for porn will always here's pay for what porn. only fans has that no other porn site in my opinion has drawing you into buying something is that you really are it's not so much now this way, but I know in the beginning it was like you really are seeing someone from your from next door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. It that's was the like hot seeing oh, Janie totally. from the totally. grocery store. Yeah, which is all you wanted, anyways. Yeah, yeah. You that's, know, I mean, porn stars are amazing. 
but they're Horn professionals. Yes. Yeah. No, that's I've been saying. It's like the Voice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want to see a bunch of people get critiqued by professionals. Cool, but like I want to see like oh this amateur. How do they yeah. do it? Actually, what I want to see is like three people in chairs turn around after <laughs> <laughs> and try to <laughs> guess <laughs> who's fucking. <laughs> Dude, that's a great <laughs> show. <laughs> I have to judge you on your jerk off noises. You know? Hearing the noises in the back, I can just guess what kind of sexual position they're in. <laughs> you just hear that little. <laughs> oh, that's balls. <laughs> that's balls right balls. there. Balls. I think it's doggy. Uh, a little wet. She's probably a bit of a squirter. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. That would be so a really fun This is going to be my porn. last porn question, then we can get to other shit. But I, I really do want to know how it affects your personal romantic life because I have uh, known some. Uh, porn actors who have told me because of your penis being I mean you can fake being wet with lube and you can fake liking sex if you have mm -hmm. a vagina you can fake it women do yeah. it all the time mm -hmm. a lot of us men know that uh, I know personally but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's, what's that was this, amazing what's this segue here that was amazing. <laughs> not me not me couldn't be me so the skin of the penis is sensitive. It's about to go get yanked on for a good hour when you're shooting <laughs> content. Word. It's yeah. about to get pulled and bit and all the things you need to do mm -hmm. to get it fully engorged to make it look good on camera. How does that affect when you meet, like, say, you get on an app and you meet a girl and you're yes. meet a guy and you're going to go out like on a real date. Yes. Yeah. How yeah. does that? What? How do you plan this? It's. It, I've kind of had a, a turning point with that recently, where I was, like I said, start taking it seriously in June. And here's the thing: in July and August, I was basically out of a job. My day job that we'll talk about sooner or yes, later is next. doing like stagehand work. So July and August was dead for that industry. So I was really able to throw myself at OnlyFans, and I had like maybe like three or four sexual encounters in those two months, and like. All three, it was three, all three of them, I had so much trouble staying hard. Yeah. And it was just like, I'm like, oh yeah, probably because you're looking at porn from nine yeah, to five. You're desensitized you know? yeah, so exactly. much. Wow. And so, but recently, um, I've been on a little terror recently, I'm not going to lie. I just fucking downloaded <laughs> the apps again and fucking matched with a few people. Yeah. I feel like I got my mojo back a little bit, you know? Um, I like so the thing, I, like I, Steven's like, stop and like, you know what? Can I just brush my hair for 30 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> I got to get in here. Uh. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it just depends on the day, man. It's like, <laughs> it does. Just, Real calm. Can you please? <laughs> can I just read a couple comments real quick and just kind of get back into the zone? It is, no, it is. It has really warped my mind. Like the fucking customs that I make for these people. Oh, I'm sure. And oh, now, yeah. and now it's like now those are bleeding into like my preferences of now. Yeah. Um, and it's wild because I'm like, it, yeah, I should just be happy fucking somebody. You sure. Know? Like, now it's like I'm not happy unless I'm making a grand. Yeah. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Is like oh. that's what I love and hate about falling for someone who's in the sex industry mm -hmm. is there, they have a really great boundary yes with what they will spend their time on yes because yeah. it is their job yes yeah. and we've talked about it on the show before but it's funny you mentioned that where you're at some point when you when it gets more lucrative mm -hmm. when you're fucking somebody even though you're a man and you like to fuck yeah you have to be saying I should be filming this. Well, right. I will say that is the one nice thing is that like I'm I'm pan like pansexual like I prefer women I pursue women like I sleep with men in group settings and threesomes yeah. very seldomly am I sleeping with a man individually yeah. it has happened but very seldomly does that happen so my sex life outside of porn is like it's because I'm just catering to boys all day yeah, so I'm yeah, just yeah, like yeah. sex with women is still fun yeah. you know but it's like like I said I thought my dick was broken for two months <laughs> because I'm like I'm having sex with women and can't keep my fucking dick hard to save my life and then recently i don't know what i don't know what happened i don't know what turn happened but i've been having no problems recently yeah. it's been a slutty month so that's far it, you, but but that's what these that's what you have to think about it's like a professional athlete mm -hmm. like why mm -hmm. am i performing better in certain months what am i eating oh, what yes. is my body doing home field I, advantage exactly yes, like yes. Advantage. About the crowd you know what i mean it's yeah, like yeah, actually yeah. what did i do say? before i fuck you know what's you know it's oh, really funny. monday night this oh, week I'm superstitious i gotta wear the same underwear <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Exactly. I got to take two blue chew exactly 30 minutes before I think I'm going to get fucking you think naked. blue chew is you know? better than Viagra? I've never tried Viagra. The um, blue chew works I, for you. It works very well. Yeah, absolutely. Because you use those probably when you shoot, right? Yes, absolutely. If I have like a shooting day, yeah. then I'll use one. I usually try to save them for like actual sexual encounters, but if I have like a shooting day yeah. where I'm like, yeah, it's just easier to pop one or two of those. Yeah. It's just like I don't have to worry about yeah. it, you know? Because that um, does distract you, I'd have to assume, when you 
are going to work. It's like forgetting your jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like getting on stage and forgetting your jokes when your uh, dick can't get hard as a yeah, porn yeah. star. Yes. It's, that's a huge aggravation. It's a big it's problem. Stressful. Do you yeah. have to like go into like crowd work? <laughs> <laughs> You just jiggle in your nuts. <laughs> Tying your hair around hey, your hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Just I'm, fucking improvising. It's like improv. Yes, hey, and Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Hamburger bun. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I do some of my best crowd work right after I nut because I'll nut and then like, I'm like, I got to fill up a little time and I'll just talk at the camera for like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to give them something the personal. Bear John jacking off yeah. five minutes before you go out. And I'm like. I watched some of the bag. I'm like, this is some funny shit. Like, I can't, I can't post this anywhere. But I'm like, this is why people are following me is because I say some funny shit after I nut. Oh, that's great. Like, it's it's really fun. You know, like that's that's also what you said on your point about that's what makes OnlyFans popular is that it's not a porn star. It's someone you vaguely know. Yeah. That's what makes yeah. it hot. Yes. I got a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. giant water bottle with my fucking OnlyFans QR code on it. Boom! Nice. I fucking got a bunch of these from uh, Vista Print. Shout out Vista Print. You know, giving me <laughs> my OnlyFans comedy, code. But here's where I show my heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? this. I'll put, I'll put it on. The yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll put it on. What's beautiful about this logo is that it's like really subtle because it doesn't say OnlyFans. It's just this little blue logo. Yeah. But the important thing is, if someone sees my water bottle and they recognize that logo, it means they spend money on OnlyFans. Of course. Uh, so no, I'd be, uh, right. I'd be at the gym with my water bottle and just like turning it out and hoping someone sees it. You know, like some dude. I mean, honestly, dude. Cut the two weeks. He's got a t-shirt with a big QR <laughs> I am Girth he's, Brooks. He's you know? his hair. The QR code in the back of your head. What about the source setting up? You and unfurl it. It's just the QR code. Did I show you guys this new tattoo I got? You know, it's my fucking QR code. You know? <laughs> Uh, I, but I sneezed during the tattoos and now QR code's all fucked. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh. uh, so, so you were good. a stagehand yes. before this. Okay, so no. So you actually, are a gig guy. Let's I'm a very much a gig guy. I was restaurant industry for 10 years before the oh, pandemic. Oh, like Eddie? Like waiter? Oh, yeah, yeah. Busboy and server mainly. Okay. And barback. Barback was my favorite. I love being a barback. See, people bar love barback. Why yeah, do people love barback? Because it's like one of, it's usually the most autonomous uh, position in the restaurant because there's usually only one barback on shift. So you really don't have anyone like above you like except for the bartenders yeah, right, yeah. who if you do your job well will just fucking usually yeah. give you shots for free you yeah. know oh, like yeah. I always you say you don't have the, to interact with customers yes yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say the bar back is like the little brother of the bar yeah. so if if you are on your P's and Q's your big brothers take, and big they, sisters they love, will take care of you you know what I bar back oh. one time at the La Jolla Comedy Store because the bartender loved me mm -hmm. and I just turned 21 and they like I was like the baby because yes, I was yeah. doing stand up there yeah, at yeah, 20 yeah. and he was like I love you man I love hanging with you Please come, just work a Saturday night. You're gonna make money. You're gonna make money. And I'm just not a, my whole family are manual laborers, man. Mm -hmm. And I just decided very early on with my dad, bring your son to work day, one of mm -hmm. my favorite clips we've ever done. That day, throwing bags at the airport, I was like, I'm never doing manual labor. I can't do it. I don't wanna do it. It's awful. And I get behind there, I'm thinking it's gonna be like a fun nightlife thing. I fucking smell like beer, a glass mm -hmm. breaks on my foot. Mm -hmm. uh, people are assholes, especially mm -hmm. with a comedy audience when it's a sold out show in La Jolla. We're turning over a 200 seat that's place. the thing yes. about a comedy a comedy club and you worked at uh, a comedy club too like oh you the, did? Oh, I was a bar back in New York comedy club as well yeah. oh no, shit yeah, okay. yeah. but like it's so like there's two huge rushes yes at a comedy club it's not like a restaurant where the rush is kind of spread over like two hours this is like the beginning of the, the seating and then like go yeah mm -hmm. and then the next seating like yeah. go it was, yeah, it, yeah. and it, don't get me wrong if that was like a thing that I thought I would have to do to make money, it would have been a fun way to do it. Right. And I did not drink at the time either. That's a big thing too. I'm sure if I was drinking at the time, mm. I would have had a lot more fun because I yeah, would have yeah, been yeah. fucked up with that guy. Of course, yeah. Uh, but he even, the guy took care of me and I made like $200 at the bar. That's how much money they make there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's dude, like, yeah. I'm going to give you an extra 50 so you do it again. Wow, yeah. nice. I never did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked that, bro. Yeah, I don't need money. Like, I need money dude. so bad, too. That's how like selfish I was. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to smell like beer. I don't want to be dirty. I hope he's watching this. He should Venmo request oh, you for like 50 bucks. Like, you know? <laughs> well, like, that was I, want, I, want, I want my 50 bucks back. <laughs> yeah. like whole, I heard he was like homeless now, so I'll definitely, if he has a Venmo, I fuck. Yeah. Hey, if you have a Venmo, dude, send me a request. <laughs> or if he has an OnlyFans, you can tip him. You, you got an OnlyFans, him. get in you touch free, with me. No way you get a free custom. Through Steven's yeah, yeah. OnlyFans. Let's <laughs> throw you a free custom. Dude, I've been saying, like, everyone's like, oh, you want to support my comedy dreams? Boom, money, right there. That's how you give me money. You want to support this shit? That's how you do it. So you were 
front of house, mm-hmm. bar back, and then you transitioned to stagehand? No. So uh, pandemic happened, restaurants closed. I started doing Task Rabbit. And uh, Task Rabbit, I was you're doing. You're the third uh, guy who's done Task yeah, Rabbit yeah, on the yeah. show. Yeah, so. I loved it, man. I wish I had fucking stuck with it. Like, if, out of all the jobs I've had, if I could go back to just doing Task Rabbit gigs, I would because it was easy money. I was doing moving gigs and furniture. And, like, that's my shit. Like, yeah. I can do that with my eyes closed. And really? I enjoy oh, so you're it. handy then. I'm very handy and I enjoy it. You know, like, and I'm you know, not good at computer work, I'm bad uh, at yeah, sitting yeah. down. For a long See, time it's a, a reverse computer. for me. If I if you sit me in front of something and give me a task and I have my my time is mine, mm-hmm. I'll get some. I'm so efficient. Yeah, you can't yeah. fuck with me. Yeah. But if you put me, hey, put together this furniture. I'm putting together backwards. I'm yeah, slamming yeah. the wood, throwing it out the window. I hey, listen. It, there's a learning curve. There were times where I remember in my early days where it was like. I got good enough where if I put something together wrong, I could like drill a new hole. Cause yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, you can, I don't want to improvise. Yeah. I can't improvise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the glue comes out. Yes. When I first moved here, yeah. I put together yeah. entertainment center. The fucking, it had the, you know how they put the letter on there? When yes. It was facing out. All of the letters were yeah, facing yeah. out. Dude, actually, you know what the real trick I had? I, black and white tape. That's, you had oh, tape yeah, yeah, in yeah, furniture yeah, yeah, yeah. colors. So you, they don't notice it. You know, like it's a real Subtle. markers from I've, sharp, I've sharpened green. my couch before <laughs> I'm just white outing this fucking armoire you know? <laughs> like, done that plenty of times but yeah the task rabbit shit was good and then like I would just like land jobs from task rabbit and then that's kind of where I what fucked up what did Andre up. say sorry to cut you off what did Andre say about task rabbit he said that in the beginning when he did it mm-hmm. it was lucrative because no one was doing it yet mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and now is that what you're saying you wish you would have stuck with it because well, now it's kind of sucked up with the real contractors on nah, there no actually uh, I don't really exactly know what it's like now because I started like I got very lucky I joined TaskRabbit in June of 2020 and that's heavy pandemic days yeah that's right. so, that Andre was uh, yeah was it Andre yeah yeah Andre was on it during that time oh, that's okay. how I remember yeah. yeah and everybody I remember I had friends in July that could not join TaskRabbit because they already had too many contracts contractors on there so I got very lucky just joining so where I fucked up was I would accept jobs from TaskRabbit as like long term jobs I worked at a, a fulfillment center for a fucking dental startup uh, which basically just means they sent shit to dentists and I was in charge of their fucking little warehouse yeah. section um, and I did that for a while and where I fucked up was that it, once you once you fucking lose traction on TaskRabbit's algorithm once you stop uh, yeah. accepting yeah. jobs yeah. like it just bumps you all the yeah. fucking way down yeah. and it's like now it doesn't matter that I have like 500 five star reviews on TaskRabbit. Right. I have tried to get back on there. They were for being on there constantly. It's yes. like you might as well leave the app open for 20 24/7. Yes, yes, exactly. Well, and it's, it's like it's, it's impossible. accepting jobs. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like now if you fucking if I try to look up like where I am at, it's like I'm always on like the goddamn sixth page or something like that. Like oh. I just don't show up in search yeah, anymore. Yeah. Oh, and it's wow. really fucking hard to go from not showing up in search to being in the search again. So that's when I lost the task rabbit ticket. Basically. You know what you should do for your content creation is you should do like a parrot, like a like play it like play it for real, but it's fake. Have it where it's like this woman called me over to fix a mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. on a certain I, app like, yeah, to I fix a, a window <laughs> and now I'm banging her and her head's out the window and you're banging her actually you know it's, or him hold fucking on. everybody yeah yeah dude you know what you'll, you'll fucking love this before <laughs> talk time it's like talk time <laughs> with Stevie Bowles <laughs> Listen, this is some dating shit, all right? This is, I'm good with this shit. Before I was Girth Brooks, you know what I was on field? You know what my name was on field? You need to pick a fake name for field. Yeah, yeah. On field, I was the horny handyman. Ah. And I had a bunch of pictures of me <laughs> mounting TVs, yo, with a fucking tool Jimmy. belt, flexing hard as fuck. Because I'm like, dude, chicks don't give a fuck about stand up. I don't even tell them about stand up, but Steve the handyman yeah, oh, yeah. got around, yeah, oh, yo. Yeah. And it's like, dude, not only can we fuck, I'm like, I'm good around the house, yo. Like, and, and, People had taken advantage of it, dude. Like, I, and I wanted them to. There was only, there was really only one time I went like full fucking out. This was before I was even doing OnlyFans. There was one time I matched with a chick in Jersey City, and we did the full on like, I show up at your house and you pretend we've never met before. Yeah, You're yeah, wearing so a nice hot. little nightgown. Yeah, so and hot. I literally, I mounted three mirrors in her bedroom, like fucking perfect. <laughs> I was like, the leveler, your yeah. cock's out. I'm like, he's leveling it. <laughs> that's absolutely. I'm like, also, you're getting knobbed, leveling all her yeah. shit. I'm like. Dude, dude, she just played you. She's just playing you. No, she got free labor. It's called trade for pay. Yeah. 
she got free labor and then of course it ends like oh my husband has all the money I don't know what I can't pay oh. what do I do and then we fucked and it was oh, great and man, it was fun so you know I was so like hot. that was amazing yo that was so fucking fun you gotta um, do that though that's that's, that's that stuff dude. gets yeah yeah that no I know I, I you know the role play shit does the, the best the gimmicks are the best the yeah. comics yeah. make you money but that scenario too is like you're halfway through you're banging this this girl and you're like all right, is this still the role play? Yeah, yeah you stay in Am I getting paid? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, What's, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't we argue with her about the money. <laughs> when do I bring up, like, when do, do I call scene at the end? And <laughs> I like to see Ed in one of those role no. plays where he's role playing an editor. <laughs> <laughs> he's just negotiating and getting annoyed that he has to work a full day. You didn't pay me for the full day fee. Yeah. <laughs> he's just arguing with some naked chick. <laughs> The unions, the unions gonna hear about this. The unions gonna hear about this. We had a contract. I'm waving a contract naked. I'm standing there with a contract. You're invoicing her. Of course I got COI. What do you think I'm a fucking new? Of course I got COI, lady. Yeah. No, dude. So the stagehand shit. You're doing. So yeah, task stage, rabbit. Yeah, stagehand shit's brand new. I just started doing that in uh, April. Oh, you're still doing that. Yeah, yeah. I'm still doing that. Like day job, night job. Um, I will say it's a lot of overnight shifts recently, which is killing me sleep cycle wise oh, yeah. but it's time and, and a half time and Ooh, a half for nice. anything after midnight right. is great this is a great working class thing yes time when you hear time and a time half and when I hear time and oh, a half my working man. class Dude. heart starts beating yeah. faster yeah. I'm like where do I get that time and a half it's like ingrained in my bl- like where's the time and a half yeah time I love and a half a is good the best time and a half baby. time and a half is the best it's like anything between like midnight and 6am is always yeah. time and a half no matter what it or is a holiday and I would take a shift on a holiday very, yes. there's very few things that I like to I, I don't really like to brag I don't get like I'm not like braggadocious but like if I just worked like yeah dude I was working all weekend Time and a half. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. That's the first thing that's I said. Working class brag. Oh, bro. That's the working class brag. It's I, having a Ferrari to a fucking white collar <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and it's also, you know what it is? It's uh, I yeah. use it. Yeah, I, no, use I was it. working all weekend. Double time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're always bragging about working. <laughs> My thing, I like to use it as an excuse. I'm like, yeah, I woke up at 3 p.m. because I got fucking home at 8 a.m. What the fuck were you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. time and a half yeah. until 8 a.m. I you know? still come home after like dropping my kid off, and I I've done like 12 things already, and it's only 8:15 a.m. And I'll tell people like, you know how much I got done at 8:15 a.m. You fucking lazy people. Like, I, yeah. I take so much pride. Yeah, yeah. I just shame strangers. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. I was I was telling him that with this, I just started working with a new uh, company. Uh, that's a great thing with Stagehand where you can work with a bunch of different companies. Oh, because um, it's freelance meets yeah, contract work. Yes. And you know, it's all you could do ever anything you want. Unless yes. you're part of a the union. It was like a yes. ten ninety nine yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Yes. That, gotcha. um, but uh the new company has me driving twenty four foot trucks, which are fucking huge. And it's it Dude. is it's kind of been a trip getting used to it again. But I swear to God, I was like bragging about it on dating. I was like, Your boyfriend can't even handle a ten foot U haul. You know? I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking twenty four foot my truck is taller than his fucking truck. You know, get the fuck out of here. Like I'm like you think I can't handle you? I can handle a 24 foot truck through downtown Manhattan. I think I can handle you. you know, it's and I feel a lot weird. Dane you know, have flexes. This should be your personality on OnlyFans. It is. It's turned like, me into yeah, a fucking up. cornball. Why don't we take the Midtown Tunnel? Yeah, in my yeah. truck. <laughs> See how your boy handles that. I scoop you up. <laughs> no, Harlem. Am I 20 foot, 45 Dude, foot oh, semi? I'm not kidding. I've been at. Oh, are, are you on York Avenue? Yeah. No, no problem. I'll park it to pick you up, you stupid bitch. Dude, I've been a cornball since Task Rabbit. I swear to God, even doing furniture, I'd be going to chicks' places and be like. That's a nice fucking piece right there, yo. How long did it take to put that together? At least two hours? I bet two hours, yo. I, I get it done in an hour and a half. You're ironing it up. You're lifting the leg. He's coming and he's like, that didn't come up the elevator. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That yeah, did not come in the elevator. Where'd you come in? Dude, did you come in the window? The bedroom window. You used the pulley system to the window? Four or five Mexicans, right? Okay. Yeah. Dude, it's ruined me. It's ruined me. Sometimes I go into these buildings, I'm like, nice stairwell, yo. You could pick up anything through this stairwell, yo. This this is nice. This is good. If you're going to have an elevator, at least have some well, wide stairs. Carry three couches up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's sideways. It's, it's ruined me. It's And the stagehand shit has ruined me too, where now production knowledge is a curse because I went to a wrestling event like two weeks ago for a friend's birthday, yeah. and it's like there are chicks half naked slamming each other on the fucking stage, and I'm looking up at trusses. Like, how oh, fucking yeah. long did that take? Yeah, you oh, know? Yeah. Like, there's 800 trusses in the air, you know? God well, damn, that looks like it took so, forever, dude. so great about stage stuff is they have all the cheats 
Yeah. Because oh. they, it doesn't have to be functional. Mm-hmm. So you have mm-hmm. all the fun cheats, which makes you see when fuckers really cheat yeah, when yeah. they're supposed to be putting something like together for real. Like my apartment, it's like, oh, it's a nice apartment. But when you look at it, it was done like so shitty. Like <laughs> yeah, they, they, it was just fo- it's faux fo- nice. Like yes, the right. quality of work, they didn't take care of it. They just right. hired some people to make it look passable. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. And, I, and I feel like now when I go to people's places, that is like that indicator. Like oh, this is an actual expensive place. Oh, 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 oh this yeah. is good architecture. Wait, you, like, you see somebody with like crown mold, yeah, like yeah, yeah, clean, yeah. with like the clean lines. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, this is real. Actually, deal. My my thing definitely was. Uh, I worked for a TV mounting company for a while, and it was just like now. Anytime I go to a hotel and I see a wire under a TV, I'm oh, like yeah. sloppy, yeah. Yeah. sloppy yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking work, that, dude. That, <laughs> if I, I see that wire, wire, I've already judged you. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. done everything within my power to for, for you to not to see a wire. Like I, yeah. I, I, I've spent a year of the pandemic stressing over if any wire was <laughs> yeah. I had so much time yeah. on my hands. We were here, we were watching something and um, a football game or something and it ran out of sync and uh, you were like, it was a Super Bowl. Yeah, it was, was it a Super Bowl. It was a oh, Super yeah. Bowl. I was fucking, Bowl. I was. And it ran out of sync, but you know what? Josh was like, yeah, but there's no wires. <laughs> <laughs> there's not. This one's beautiful. This one's gorgeous. It looks hey. a little unlevel, but well, other than that. No, the, the ceiling's unlevel. <laughs> oh, Zachy that'll do Peanuts it. Zachy Peanuts mounted do it. every TV in this house. Really? really? Zachy Peanuts. Oh, oh, good for him. He's good. Bro. He's good. good for him. Yeah. yeah, so shout out, Zach. Zach did it. That's he one did of my... it for like three lunches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't even wrong. I, I gave him I gave him. I mean, there's... Molly. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, 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 there's, Zach, there's Zach Petrovich lunches. I mean, they can break you. He definitely... We definitely evened out what was going on. We had a little time in AC, too. So we did all right. I was gonna say that's lunch. that's like I think the most famous. He'd rather do that than be paid. Trust me. Well, we did instead yes. of me paying him. He w- he would have chosen that five hundred times. Oh, over. no, for yeah. sure. The most I think the most famous person I've ever done shit for was H Foley. You know, oh, from oh, Are You Garbage? Right I right put on. up two curtain rods and assembled like a bed frame or something when he moved to his new place. Yeah. You know, I was like, fuck yeah, dude, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, he didn't call me back. I think I fucked up his curtain rods. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember having trouble with one of them. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, that's funny. A guy who's part of a famous show about being a garbage person is mad at you for fucking yeah. his rods up. No, that's how I know he, he came up. He had a curtain before he made money. And yeah. He fucked his shit up. I was like, hey, we're, so, we're all still garbage here, bro. We're all still garbage. You can't get away from it, man. It's all cockeyed like a Hurricane Milton ran through his house. I know I did good with the bed frame, so I got that going for me. You're banging on that bed, though, aren't you? You're banging on that bed, aren't you? <laughs> Fucking right. Goddamn right. You know? Oh, my God. That's uh, definitely. That's so Actually, good. wait. That's not true. I did um with the TV mounting company. Do you know um Wallace Shawn, the big fat dude from Princess Bride, the short oh. guy? Oh, like yeah, 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 so yeah, he's fat yeah, now, yeah. but he didn't used to be. Yeah. He's the voice yeah. of T Rex in Toy Story. Yeah, dude, it yeah. was so oh, funny. Right. Yeah, I swear yeah. to God, my boss, he, like, when we were, go- I-, I was going to work that day, and he said, Do you know Wallace Shawn? And I was like, Nah, did he use my name? Like, who the fuck is that? He's like, No, you idiot. He's like, a Super famous. And we're yeah, going, like to, famous we're going to his house, so don't be a shithead. And I was like, Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And we went there, and he was mad nice. Yeah, so it was you know cool. That guy must hear inconceivable. Yes. Yes, exactly. He's buried with that. And it must be such a joy because you can at least make money off that forever. I like the Comic Con or something. Mm-hmm. But when you're trying to just remember oh. that story you were telling me about you ran into somebody on the street oh, and you uh, like and yeah. then you got caught up in a convo and you wanted to blow your head off. You just wanted to get a nice little healthy drink for yourself. Ed's never healthy. And he went to go get a smoothie somewhere and he ran into somebody and they just talked his ear off. Uh, oh, I thought you were talking about the time I ran into Tom Waits. Ever tell you about that? No, time I, I saw Tom Waits on the street. So I'm like, I just moved to New York. I had this job where I was like running uh, cassette tapes uh, up and down uh, Sixth Avenue, and I'm walking up and I see like a very attractive girl, probably my you know about my age, and I'm like checking her out. And then I, as I come around the corner, I see her mom, hot, mm-hmm. hell yeah, and I'm checking her out. And then I pay, come around the corner more, and the dad is Tom Waits. Oh Whoa, shit, who wow. looks like a homeless guy? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like shit. So now I'm like I'm like gawking. Gawking more, and then I'm like fawning. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a big Tom Waits guy? I'm fawning over Tom Waits, and the two women were like, "Fine," and then he gets like, "Oh, Jesus Christ!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, you yeah. try to talk to him, dude? I skeeved him out, dude. I skeeved him out so bad. I skeeved him out more than you any woman. Out a guy who seems like he's been fucking smoking cigarettes since he's four years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. This guy sings about being. He's like the Bukowski of fucking yeah. crooners. You skeeved him out. I skeeved him out. Yeah. 
That's like the fourth story where Ed's skeeved out a major celebrity. Yeah. Dude, I was actually, dude, I was super proud of myself. You know John Barenthal? The guy oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him at a fucking uh, musical one time. At, uh, we, me and my ex went and saw King Kong. Mm -hmm. And like, I see him sitting there and I'm like, he's got the fucking Punisher logo on his jacket. I'm like, that, that looked like the Punisher. And I, I'm looking, I'm like, that is the Punisher. Yeah. That's John Barenthal. And so now I'm like, oh shit, is the gorilla going to fight the Punisher in like a one-off like surprise thing? Awesome. Of, of course, that didn't happen. I was like, that would have been awesome. But well, he's wearing the I was, patch. Why was he wearing yeah. the patch? Well, that's the thing. I'm like, he wants to be recognized, exactly. right? But then as we're leaving, I'm like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to him as we're leaving. But then he, he has two young kids, like yeah. two elementary school age kids. I'm uh -huh. like, ah, fuck, I'm not going to bug him. Nah. But I was mad proud of myself. Instead of going this way, I went this way. So he passed me and like, I'm not making a big deal no one else is talking to him that's the thing yeah. no one else is right this is a bunch of theater oh. nerds yeah, that yeah, I know yeah, the yeah. Punisher yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and so I'm not trying to blow up his spot but as he passed me I just went love your work man and he went thank you brother and yeah, he kept yeah, going yeah, I was yeah. like oh the Smooth. Punisher called me brother <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that was awesome I once ran into John Totoro on the subway platform Ooh, okay. and I, instead of like I shook his hand. Wow. Oh, you shook his hand? Awesome. Oh, that's cool. And he was really uh, yeah. nice about I it. I bet he he's nice. one of those actors where yeah. he's famous but it yeah. still probably might be nice for him to get but some plus he's a, like your work. He's a New yeah. Yorker though, too. And he's a New Yorker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah, like yeah, an yeah. actor who has moved here. Like he, I think he grew up here, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, I have a funny story about Barry Bonds. My buddy, John Lockjaw, who's a comic out in Texas, he goes by John Toll now, but he's a, like a hardcore legend. Dude was mm -hmm. like front, front man for all these hardcore bands. Oh, okay. And while doing it, he worked security at uh, the Cow Palace in uh, Northern California. Okay. And at the time, that's where the Sharks played. And Barry Bonds just got signed to the Giants. And he's sitting at the game, and people are coming up to him. A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot. So my buddy's supervisor goes, hey, you do me a favor. Barry Bonds is complaining that people are bothering him. Can you just go sit by his seat and just make sure no one comes up to him? Mm -hmm. so he's like, yeah, sure. He goes over there. He like clears everyone out. And Barry Bonds looks up at him and he's like, he believed these fucking people. And John looks down and he's wearing a giant gold number 24 <laughs> fucking <laughs> like Flavor Flav chain. <laughs> <laughs> he might as well have been wearing his full uniform. <laughs> 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 That's funny as fuck. <laughs> Just put a baseball bat yeah, over seriously? your shoulder at that point, dude. Just start taking BP on the ice, you yeah. fucking idiot. <laughs> well, actually, actually, I have a good one. That's some working class holes moment, bar barback moment. Yeah, with uh, you know Michelle Wolf, comedian. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There was one time I'm barbacking at New York. It's relatively quiet, and um, I'm just behind the bar, and everybody knows barbacks can't serve. That's just the whole fucking not allowed. Thing. You're, You're not, not allowed. allowed to serve. Right, right. And so I'm the only right. one behind the bar. There's this couple sitting at the bar, and they're like, "Hey, can we get this, this, and this?" I'm like, "I'm sorry, I'm just barback." And like, I can't do shit for you. And they're like, okay, no problem. Michelle Wolf walks in right at that moment, walks right up to the bar. She goes, can I get an IPA? I'm like, yeah, of course, immediately. You know, yeah. <laughs> give her the IPA. Yeah, though. I give her the IPA. And then like, I turn around and I see these two looking at me. I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. She's like mad famous. Like, she's a comedian. And they went, oh no, we're here to see her. Like, you're good. I was like, Oh, thank God. Yeah, I, thought, I thought for sure I was about to get a Yelp review on that one. You know? I was like, thank God they know who she is, dude. Would that you bar back again, awkward. or is that done for you? I think I, I'm I'm done with it for right now. So just right now, stage handing and then stage sta handing your own prick. Stage handing my prick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yo, exactly. Talking to the boys, yo. I've been saying it's like, dude. I just went through like I, I fucking went through a brutal divorce last year. I went through another breakup in uh, May of this year. I'm like, you know what? The ladies have lost access oh, finally. Yeah. Yo, this yeah. dick is for the boys now. <laughs> You know, it's just nudes and vids for the boys, okay? Bad you ladies, for you ladies. Yeah, you had 31 years, and now you lost it. No, now you lost you know it. Though, now you got to pay for it. Men probably show you the attention you deserve, though. Yeah, yeah. That's how it I is. feel. Whenever gay men like hit on oh. me, they show me the attention I deserve. Mm -hmm. like the work bucks. I put in, yeah. the They're way I look at 43. These guys compliment me up and down on all yeah. the things I've actually taken thought in. Yeah, it made yeah. me feel great. Yeah, I will say some of the time, sometimes like they give compliments that I don't love where like I have actually been so fucking consistent at the gym since June because I'm taking naked pictures every of course, fucking day. That's a great motivator. It's, it's yeah. been one of the healthiest yeah. catalysts yeah. in my yeah. life yeah. is doing OnlyFans. But yeah. then like I had one guy comment he's like oh my god I love your dad bod and I'm like oh yeah. god damn it. in the gay community where you could yeah. be 
like at your normal weight and yes. they think you're yes. Yes. you yeah. don't have a six pack yes. if you had a six pack you wouldn't have a dad bod I, I had one guy tell me uh, he's like I love your jerk off videos I'm like hey thanks so much he goes I love watching your man boobs bounce while you do it I was like <laughs> Jesus Christ yo, I'm going Jesus for a run Mary and I'm, Joseph I'm going for a run yo. we can't we can't, fuck that dude fuck that I was like I'm glad you're happy but damn dude that just ruined my day me so I, I'll just cry yeah, I was like just tip me if you're gonna say some shit like that man god damn dude Steven, plug where you're at uh only fans uh girth brooks of that's the name um <laughs> otherwise stand up steven bowles comedy on youtube all my social media is mick long hair mc long hair easy to remember oh you got a special um, out too you, yes you i got a special on youtube that's why you look up the youtube steven bowles comedy the special is called steven bowles steven please that's s-t-e-p-h-e-n-b-o-l-l-e-s is the name i, I hate my name i feel like steven and bowles can be spelled fucking you have five so many different ways. Yeah, so you know, many different yeah. Letters, yeah. So exactly. Many that's why I go, that's why I pick Mick Longhair, MC Longhair. It's yeah, like yeah. you'll you'll find it. You'll be able to find all my shit if that's you look up Mick so Longhair. Fun too, dude. Thank you, dude, man. So Thank fun. you. Yeah, I had yeah, so yeah, much so fun great, with it, great. man. I appreciate you guys, man. Thank uh, you. At Josh Ricardo, joshricardo.com for our tour dates. Tapped Apple, November second, eight p.m. Tickets are on sale. They're going fast. We probably about have twenty more tickets left. So get on those now. I feel like those are going to be gone soon. Yeah. So make sure you do that. It's going to be a hot one. Eddie? Uh, Ed McGowan Comedy on Instagram. Go to edmcgowan.com and see my city dates. Email us. Yeah. If you are, you know, for the boys. If you're... <laughs> <laughs> You got an OnlyFans. If you've ever driven a 24 foot truck, yeah. uh, you know what I mean, through the Midtown Tunnel, mm. email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail.com. We'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on. 